Hi, welcome back, everyone. Dorothy Timberlake Candy Company has been around for 28 years, but when you consider the fact that their recipe for candy dates back to the 17th century, 28 years actually sounds pretty new. Well, Faith Timberlake is here this afternoon to show us the product and also give us the secret recipe. <laughs> no, actually, she's going to tell us where the recipe originated from. Nice to see you. Hi. Thanks for coming by. Thank you. The whole, everything you see here is edible, including the table. It's all made of candy. <laughs> the dishes. <laughs> the dishes are made. Um, back up just a second. I mean, 17th century, the recipe goes way, way back. Tell us a little bit about the company. Well, it was started by my mother, Dorothy Timberlake. Okay. Um, she she uh, uh, had liked the candy herself as a child and remembered it in her childhood and wanted to uh, recreate her own personal childhood memories. So uh, she went back and did a lot of research and came up with the original formulas, then did a little work with it herself, and, and uh, it is an authentic recipe. So it is a, a very, very old-fashioned candy. All right, so we're not giving out the recipe. No. We're just going to show you the stuff. You actually brought some really neat stuff here, and, and it, we were half joking, but it is a lot of it's edible, including the dishes. Yeah, so it's all edible. Take us around the, the table and, and show us some of the samples that you brought along, and, and, and what makes it all so unique. Well, um, the dishes are actual reproductions of antique sandwich glass and depression glass dishes. Mm -hmm. We worked from my mother's collection and made castings of the dishes, and we used those to uh, pour in barley candy. It's hand hollowed, um, and they're all in. We got about a hundred different flavors. Okay, as um, you see, I think, it looks like you have 101 different flavors, and they're all right here. Probably more than that. We've worked with. Um, oh, my father started collecting the molds 28 years ago. We have the largest collection of antique candy molds in the world. Wow, that is incredible. Um, so there are some shapes which are date back hundreds of years, and others that are fairly new, like the. Um, maple leaf and, and the apple and the mousse here. Yeah, well, I was going to ask you, show us some of these other examples. I mean, what goes into making these? Because you just don't see this stuff everywhere. No, it's handmade, and not too many people um, make it by hand. There was someone about, oh, 10 years ago making it by machine. Mm -hmm. uh, but it doesn't, you don't get the same sort of quality and variety. Um, we spend a lot of time. Uh, it takes 45 minutes to cook a batch of, of syrup up. Mm -hmm. uh, and that you get maybe $100 pops out of. Wow. So it, it's, it is time consuming. How have you guys changed through the years, or maybe you haven't changed? Well, we just started with nine molds, so mm -hmm. that alone has made a big difference. Yeah. Um, just more, greater and greater variety, and then I started making the molds um, with the newer ones. Uh, we've started adding more colors and flavors, and the opaque white there is new. Down the little baker and, okay, and so um, is, yeah. that is barley candy. It is either flavored with a white coloring or marshmallow. So yeah. you, we used to have marshmallow flavors and such. Um, we do multicolored pieces here. This is this is done by um, several pours. So you have to do a pot of red, a pot of white, a pot of green, and a pot of clear. So that's a four-step process for that. Um, we've done things like the little nursery songboards there in front. They have uh, sheet music on the back. It was my grandmother's. Uh, childhood nursery book, and we had it reproduced, um, and they're nice gifts for infants or put in gift baskets and such. Have you run out of ideas? Or you just keep coming up well, with new things. I these mean, flowers here are new. Um, they were in the Martha Stewart Living magazine this last uh, yeah, summer. Yeah, yeah. they're um, something that people would do themselves uh, or have their caterer do. That they're little bouquets for the flower girls. And so they keeps the kids quiet at the reception. <laughs> All right. Before everyone starts calling me, you have to tell me where is this stuff available? How do we get in touch with you? And, and of course, with Easter and Passover just around the corner, <laughs> let everybody call you. <laughs> well, we uh, we our num our phone number is four four seven two 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 one. Okay. Uh, you can call that number. We can take phone uh, phone orders. Mm -hmm. uh, we do direct mail order. You can get boxes of twelve oh, okay. lollipops, boxes of six lollipops, individual dishes. Okay. And where are you located? One more time. Um, outside of Conway, uh, New Hampshire, in the town of Eaton. We don't really have a shop, but we will. If people call ahead. We will uh, sh show them through, and they can maybe pick out a few pieces of candy. All right. As I think we're going to do in about three <laughs> seconds. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Thanks for coming by.